come guys and buy all my brass. I have all these brass uh, light plates and light covers and a chandelier made of brass. Neat little glass. It's all made in Hong Kong in the 50s. It's not about that. Brought this video today by Midas Muffler, right? It's new, time for a new muffler. Uh, this one I picked out of a junkyard about three years ago and even though I did the old Bondo trick to it, it's just letting go and letting go. So, out with the old, this one. It got me the inspection sticker, but I need a new tailpipe too. Uh, I got this new one. And got the adapter for it right here. I'm going to push it out about an inch and I'll show you why. Um, and then I have the, the, what do you call it, the mounting bracket's a little rusty, but I think I can make it work. These are supposed to unbolt, but they're all rusted. I'm going to maybe soak that in oil, but probably you'll have to torch them off if you ever want to change out this rear axle. And you can see also the, the frame has been boxed in and welded quite a bit, not by me, by a previous owner. There's a big plate here. Do you see that? <laughs> What's that off? A, a bed frame? I'm not sure. A lot of welding went in on this truck. So it's been reworked a little bit. So I cut this off. I didn't want to get rid of this weld. That took me a while and that worked out. And I have to build another inch or so to get to the rubber grommets to hold up the muffler. I want it not to be uh, pushed back too far or forward. I want it just perfect. Uh, I gotta get the shock in here. Maybe this would be a good time to do the shock without the muffler. Just missing, you know? It's kind of weird. And I also noticed this. That drive shaft's rubbing up against that uh, skid plate. That's no good. Now I have tack welded it around for my placement. I even put a tack weld there. And either I'm going to do more tack welds or I'm going to weld around the whole circumference of the pipe. So I'm running flux core on this. I'm not doing everything perfect on it. Uh, I have to probably reverse the polarities. But I looked at the, the suggestions for welding here and for about that gauge metal. I put it on uh, heat D. And speed, wire speed, 1.5. That's what I'm going to weld it on. I think that's, uh, that's about right. Yeah. D. Well, that's actually a little strong for D, but should work. Turn that on. I have to run out on its side because I lost the springs for this. And we're going to go weld this up. Got my ground on it. And my government-issued uh, welding helmet. So cheers to that, boys. Lovely. Okay, so now I just I welded around the circumference as you can see. It's not beautiful. I don't know why I broke it up. But as you can see, it's not terrible either. And I retacked over here because I don't trust those factory welds. But it's okay, it's gonna hold. And now I'm gonna weld on the bracket this <clears throat> this bracket here. So what's going on now is, uh, actually, I, I, had, I made a mistake. I welded this bracket on the wrong side because I noticed this is B. That's probably, that's the back, and that's where uh, it attaches in the front. And I welded this to the back. So that was my nice adapter. I used that up, so I'm going to have to go to plan B. I don't mind that going out, and it doesn't really matter. It's actually good to weld on this back, this back. Um, pipe when I get it. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to bend all these little, I made all these little uh, tabs. I'm going to bend them in and I'm going to push this in, weld that on, get my extra inch here and do another tab system on this and then weld it around that pipe uh, from the engine. So that's what you could do. You can kind of cheat it boys if, you're, if you mess up, which sometimes I do, believe it or not. Sometimes I make mistakes. It's easy to, especially thinking about other things, uh, whatever. Because uh, I didn't want to run this uh, backwards. 
I mean, I could have just, you know, B to A, but there must be a reason. If there's a reason, let me know. I don't know. Can you run a muffler backwards? And does it make any sense? Does it matter? In case it does matter, I'm just going to do it this way. So let's get to welding. Okay, so now it's all grooved in, and this piece should fit right over. I have to bang it in just a little bit, and then I'm getting my welds on it. This side's way too big. Whoop. Now, I've done to the other side what I did to this side here. I built my own bracket, and I actually have a little more uh, length, which is good. So that's all welded. It should hold. I added a couple more tacks for the factory uh, job there. So we should be ready to put it on, on, the, on the car and weld it up. Let's hope it works. Uh, cover up this rust a little. Put the bracket on. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, nice and hot. <laughs> it's boiling. Yeah. Just get the rust so it doesn't get a whole lot worse. I think it's a <coughs> high temperature, I'm not sure. Uh, I should do. Uh, spray it up a little bit so it doesn't break from rust and uh, get it on the truck. Okay, I got the, the bracket back in place here. And it's perfectly lined up with this. Uh, a to B, correct. And this is actually kind of good because now I have a flange to attach a tailpipe if I ever wanted to. Probably should. <laughs> It's set to go. And this, all I have to do, uh, uh, get my trusty hammer. Uh, tap these down, see? All the way around. And get my weld on it. And it should last a really long time. And happy because I have a nice bend here. And it, it kind of, the homemade exhaust. Nice straight pipe system. Uh, for all you, uh, uh, air quality control people nice straight straight uh straight exhaust you know no no cats uh things uh 32 years old so there's no air quality control in my state anyhow so anyhow that'll be pretty tight and when i want i'll get the i'll get the back exhaust pipe for it and get that installed ah, let's go see how she sounds a second. Oh, dude, dead battery. It must be this radio is on. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, shoot. I'll tell you guys this cold start, but my battery went dead. And I put hooked the, my old uh, battery charger up to it, and it's going down to zero. It was at ten. It's going right down. Looks like this first this first compartment was bubbling pretty good, but it seems a little low. And uh, I gave somebody a jump start, and we had the cables reversed. I don't know if that helped the battery. Probably not. Might have killed it. Not even old.